Well, welcome back to Good Day, where we're on the road in the beautiful Glass Bowl, right here at the University of Toledo. I have football now. Stephen found a football, <laughs> yes. And uh, there are sights and sounds that define U Toledo football. Hail Mary completed pass from quarterback Bruce Gradkowski, and then the touchdown sound of... Rockets. There you Love go. It. Mark Byer there with us this morning. Thank you all so much for being here again this year. How you doing? I'm doing great. I mean, it's football season. <laughs> yes. you know, we have big flag football practice tonight with my nine-year-old. Oh, sweet. Nothing like rocket football, and I love hearing the voice of the Rockets because yeah. there's no better soothing sound <laughs> than that touchdown call. I don't know about soothing, especially when Bruce is connecting with Lance Moore oh, against goodness. Pittsburgh back in 2002. Oh, the oh wow. The yes. memories. Yes. The memories. You have so many good memories, I'm I sure, do. of rocket football. What are I you do. looking forward to this year? Uh, wins. Lots of wins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hopefully. And, and exciting because there's so many new players on the team with the transfer portal now and you always yeah. are excited about the young freshman coming in who's going to step up and get some playing time. But uh, I'm really excited to see how Tucker uh, Gleason does this year yeah. as the starting quarterback mm -hmm. uh, replacing uh, Daquan Finn who apparently is going to be the starting quarterback for the Baylor Bears this year. So that's all part of college football and now. Yeah, the new trans the yep. transfer portal, yep. like you said. Yeah, but it makes it different. Lots Tucker's waited his his time, just like Bruce bided his time before he got the opportunity, and now it's Tucker's turn, and we're excited to see how he's going to do. Very cool. All yeah. right, well, we're excited to see that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned flag football with your kids, but you also have a, a, a podcast going on, too. Yeah. You know, we're talking to maybe some of those younger kids who are thinking about football. Yeah, I mean, I just think of my career from playing to coaching now from our young kids that we're developing been at home, Lily, Roman, and Lincoln. And I just always want to be a resource for people in the community, one way or another. Like, I'm going to continue this coaching path, but in the off season, or, you know, coaches get fired. So if I'm at home, how can I help others in their path, whether on the field or off the field? Because I think that's so important, and a lot of it takes the mentality and your mindset. Mm -hmm. So that's some things I'm doing on the alpha5method.com, uh, just trying to be a resource for people on their path and help them grow. And hopefully my son down here will listen to me at one point. Because <laughs> right now, he's not always listening to that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the young folks, they love listening to podcasts now, so maybe that'll that'll be the trick. Yeah, you know, I, try, I had Big Ben on it. I had Joe Thomas. Cool. Like, trying to – guys that have been through adversity mm -hmm. but have also achieved massive success, it's mm -hmm. cool to talk to them. And that's why when Mark said about Tucker Gleason, mm -hmm. like, I can't wait for this season because the guy has worked his tail off. He's a great leader. Robert Wiener is a, a great quarterback coach, offense coordinator, Jason Candle and his high-powered offense. So it's, it's exciting to see how these pieces come together this year for the Rockets because they have the talent. And I think this year there's going to be some stronger leadership. So I'm excited to see how that plays out. Love that. And Mark, there's a real emphasis just to get the community out here, yeah. just to have a party to open up this season. What do you have to say to the people? It's the biggest party in Toledo. Mm -hmm. Where else are you going to have 20, 25,000, maybe 30,000 people either inside the stadium or outside the stadium? Where else in Toledo would you have that kind of experience? Right here at the Glass Bowl. It's just a great place to be, and we're going to have outstanding weather, it looks like, for Thursday, Ooh. which is great. And I'm excited about the home schedule this year. I mean, yeah. we got Miami coming here, Bowling Green yeah. coming here, Ohio coming here, mm -hmm. uh, and we have a lot of alum mm -hmm. that uh, went to those schools that will be right here at the Glass Bowl. Filling it up. Yeah. Yep. Good. We're okay, expecting got, a lot of wins, too. Yes. You got the football. I have it. We're thinking about running some drills over here. You want to take us through some things? Let's do it. Okay, all right. We're, we'll meet you over there. Yes. Okay, you got the other mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. we're going to go that way. Okay, I mean a different so, Mark, Mark if you to, want to, you, you can do the play-by-play play play on these things. Things too okay. <laughs> so, so tell us uh, what, what what drills will we run here? So right now, this is a receiver drill set up, and coaches set up this drill for receivers to work on getting in and out of their cuts. So it's just a box drill, right? So you run up to this cone, chop it down, break it down to that cone, to this cone, and you finish here. And I'll hit you with the pass. So let me let me see. I'm gonna let him do it. Okay. okay. You ready? He's going to do it. Let's go. Mark's doing the play-by-play. -play. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Hey, we got we got tunes out here this morning, it. too. Just take a look at the team over there if we can. I don't know if we can take this shot of the team out here. 
Our, our <laughs> photographers cannot hear us. I know. <laughs> it is loud. Are you setting something else up or are we good? We're good. I was going to set you up another little quarterback drill. Okay. If you want, like I was putting my quarterback through this, I put Roman through it. So it's kind of just the M drill if you want. A five step drop, you run up to the other cone, do a reverse drop, and then run up to the other cone, a normal drop. So I could kind of. I'm confused. I'll demonstrate for you okay, real quick. Let's get a demo. All right. Because I don't know what he said either. I, ha I have no idea, yeah. Amanda. Okay. Football gets so complicated. <laughs> he said an M drop, five step. Okay. Just like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to let him do this one too. You got this. <laughs> You're. Woo! Okay. That was a little high, but you know, five steps. There you go. That's a good thing he knows how to catch really well. <laughs> a little, nice, little nice, too high. a little too high. It's okay. That's yeah. better than what I would have done. Uh, should I try it? Let's do it. Okay. All right. Let's I'm do try it. Try that one. Okay. You want the, you want the box? This is a workout, indeed. Yeah. I guarantee Amanda is going to throw better than I did. Look at this pass. Told you. Right to the chest. Now drop back five steps. Oh, look at that drop. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you were to break down who's the better quarterback, who do you have? Well, her second five-step drop was very clean and in rhythm. So, I might have to go. But you threw a tight spiral as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah. So. You know what? It's all, it's all about being a good student mm -hmm. to a good teacher. Coachable. So yeah. Coachable. You, you have to be coachable. I told Roman on the way here, he's nine years old. I said, if anything, just be coachable. Yeah. You know, listen, pay attention, mm -hmm. be respectful, and just work hard. And then sounds like there. sounds like life lessons to me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I just want to dance. I know. This is great. We'll be back with more Good Day.